So Jason, our next feature is um, a lagoon that you installed, I think, 10 years ago, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And, yeah. and basically what's different here, which we haven't seen, is uh, it combined with an aeration system. Yeah, so recently we have uh, fitted an aeration system here uh, to the system on, on this pig unit uh, for, for the lagoon. And I suppose uh, the customer is relayed to us here that it's the first year really that he has had uh, consistent slurry the whole way through because of the, the type of it. Even he was mixing it uh, with a propeller mixer uh, because it separates out so quick. By the time the lagoon's empty, it has separated again, so defeating the purpose. But the, the bubbler system, with the control panel, we can have this, we can switch from automatic to manual and have it running consistently all day whilst it's pumping out as well. Okay, so this is a pig farm, just to give people context, it's a pig farm. Yes. And there's people taking slurry out maybe, and, or he's selling slurry or whatever, or they're taking it away or whatever, but yeah. there was maybe issues around the consistency. Consistency, I suppose, uh, ideally he was using it himself, the majority of it, and then there's there's people coming and taking it away as well. It's a bother of, of, of mixing it, whereas the people can come any time, take a load of slurry, should it be himself or someone else, and it's ready to go. When was this uh, like lagoon itself installed? This lagoon uh, is in about 10 years, right. uh, so it is, so it's been in use. So what uh, what we've, we've done here now, there's uh, there's been a concrete, the customer put a concrete floor uh, into the lagoon, so for us to fix the pipework to. Okay, is that on top of the That's the on line? top of the liner, yeah. Okay, and so the liner's underneath that? Yeah. And without damaging that? That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. so why did you need the concrete? Um to screw down the fixings too. Okay. Uh, stainless steel fixtures that we work with just for the, the clips to, to keep the pipework on the, on okay. the floor. So regardless, you, you always need concrete uh, to yeah. screw into the when you're on, a yeah. system like this in? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, we don't need to do the banks, we just need to do uh, the floor and because as it lowers down, the, the pipework on the floor will keep it all, all mixed. Right, okay, so we'll just look at some of the infrastructure here or the mechanics of it, what's creating the, the air? Okay. So this, uh, this, th this is uh, a blower here, our high, our high flow rate blower, which we've put on here, and our control panel. So the control panel has a PLC involved in it here, so whatever system we wanted to add on in the future, what this customer is doing, uh, we're add adding on uh, another 42 circuits onto an underground storage tank for them, and this, we will be moving uh, this blower and control panel over here to, to a different situation so that it can cope uh, and has the ability to, to mix the, it all, really. So what uh, kind of functionality have you in the box so, here? So the, 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 the basically, if, uh, if the customer wants, we have a multi-tank switch there, so that if he just wants to mix the lagoon and not the underground storage tank, he has the multi-tank switch. If a customer was to have anywhere up to maybe 10 tanks, and he has five empty and five full, you, know, you can set it up to, to okay. mix that, so he, he has that option to, to do that with the okay. multi-tank switch. Okay. You also have the manual and automatic right. there to run on. Right, there and just shot? Yeah. So this stores the data as well for your running times, and as well, and it gives you the, the ability there, because of the, the, the rise in the, in the cost of, uh, of electricity there, that you can, you can run it at the optimum times to suit your the, the needs on the farm. Can you can you remote into that and, and ma manage it remotely? You can you can do if you need be. Yeah. Okay. With the PLC allows you to do that. Yeah. Right. So just follow the supply. So the air is being pushed out yeah. around that so, gal pipe. So the, we we'd work with the galvanized pipe. So we're running across here to the to the manifold mm. here. So each manifold. Show uh, us what the manifold is there and what you can see of it. On this, on this stainless steel manifold, uh, we work then with our, our stainless steel solenoid valve, which opens up to, to open to uh, to run one one circuit. So basically, one circuit is running about twenty square meters uh, in in the lagoon. So, uh, and then one sequential once it stops one section, it moves on to the next, and so on and so forth, and moves its way around till it's finished. Okay. And so each circuit's running three minutes a time. Okay. Fine. So, so Jason, a feature of this here is the, the, the farmer's ability to load, um, yeah. load say trucks or whatever is it? Yeah, so uh, the customer has installed this, uh, this pump here basically just to, to fill lorries there and, and tankers and even just to allow them the ability to, to transfer across to, to another tank there for pumping out. Okay. And what's behind you here then, say? Yeah, this, this, this is just a drop point so that if he's coming across here with a tanker to dump slurry in here that uh, it's going through there safely and, uh, and landing into the lagoon. Okay, so we might have one look just to finish on the, the tank. 
adjacent where okay. the new pipe work is going into. So Jason, we're standing on, I suppose, phase two of slurry storage and future housing, I guess, here as well. Yeah. So I suppose it's the ability of the existing infrastructure or the existing air, um, aeration system yeah. to work this here. So this, uh, this is a, a very large storage, underground storage tank here, which a uh, customer has uh, put concrete slabs on top of here. So uh, our system uh, has the ability to mix this as well. So what we'll be doing, we'll be adding on uh, to the existing system, which is in the lagoon, uh, so that uh, uh, it'll be run. So it's saving the cost there of a blower in the control panel, and uh, that'll, that'll allow him that it has the same consistency in basically the whole unit. And you're going to move the, air, uh, the main blower to here? Yeah, why, we're going why? to move, move the, the, the main blower uh, to here, just the customer wants, wants to move it here and, and away from, so it'll just put temporary over there just to, to keep, uh, keep does, things handy. Does it work way. better when it's in the middle? It, it does, yes, because there, this is such a large unit and, uh, and the run is so, is so long uh, to save putting the, the, the cost of, a, of another blower on there. Uh, this, uh, there's quite a saving involved in, in using that. Right. And the blower does have the capacity to do that. Right. Say price-wise for people, any price indication for people who are installing a system like this on, a, on any particular lagoon size? Again, it, it, it depends on, on, on the size of the lagoon. Um, I suppose you're talking, for, a, for instance, on a two million gallon lagoon, which is, I suppose, quite large, you're, uh, you're well into the, to the 30s, you know, the, the high 30,000 there. Yeah. But again, a big part of that cost is your blower and control panel. Um, so you can still add on to that uh, in the future using the, the same system. Okay. So the first, the first system is initially is, uh, is the most expensive. Okay, and say for um, lead times and time to install a system? Le lead times, once the customer is ready, um, four, four weeks there we can be, and, uh, but occasionally it does, have, it does have to happen much quicker, but uh, depends uh, what, uh, what pressure is on there. Uh, maintenance, any annual maintenance or what goes wrong? Maintenance, um, there, there's very little maintenance in, involved. Um, in the PLC, uh, control panel that, that we have there if there's a solenoid not working it shows up on the alarm uh, very very rarely would that ever would that ever happen and you're talking years down the line mm. if that was the case you know solenoid plug 10 15 pounds it's not a that's not a big thing um, check your blower for oil um, general maintenance uh, maybe a, a belt on your blower every couple of years mm. other than that nothing to talk nothing worth to talk about okay no, that's fine. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you.